everyone, it's Jeannie again, and as promised, I am back with a scrapbook layout. I have been in the mood to scrap again, which I'm really glad because I, I sort of lost my scrapping mojo um, a few years ago um, after my mom died, and I just it was just too painful for me to um, to be going through pictures, especially you know while she was still alive, and and um, so I kind of got out of it. I've been making cards and doing some paper crafting, but I haven't really been doing a lot of scrapbooking, and I'm really motivated again and having fun with it. So um, I thought I would share a layout with you. And this is the first 12 by 12 layout I've made in a really long time. But I thought I'd go quickly through the supplies that I used. Um, I did use this, uh, a little bit of this um, navy blue twine. Um, I used a coffee sleeve from a local coffee shop um, near where I live and incorporated that into the layout. I also used, um, it was a pack um, of... And this is what all, all the one, the frames that I have left, but it was this, um, what is this, Snapshots by Paper House. Um, and I used, I guess, just one of these on the layout. So, but I have, you can see I have a lot of them left. And there's acetate and frames and um, all kinds of things. And they're double-sided, so they're kind of nice. Um, I also used um, this Christmas stamp. Um, and I didn't use it, for, of course, for the Christmas um items in there. I actually used it for um, the coffee cup and I used the frame cuts die as well to make the little coffee cup. I also used these Tim Holtz um, label letters. I used this Heidi Swap um, foam letter sheets. And then I use this Seize the Day Paper House paper pad. Um, my kids actually got me this for Christmas. And um, if anybody wants to flip through, let me know. I don't think I have enough camera battery to do it now, but um, I did use this. And this is one of the pads that has a sticker sheet and um, cut aparts and all kinds of things. And so my kids, like I said, my kids got me this. And um, so that is what I, what I used. So let me show you the layout. So and hopefully, I don't know if you can see it all, I'll start at the top. Um, basically, I used, and the reason that I chose this paper, number one, um, the coffee the coffee place is called Crack and Coffee, um, and it has a big, um, you know, octopus on the wall, and that is their logo. So, and well, the interesting thing about that is when my when I opened this on Christmas morning, my son said, "Mom, I love that paper in there that has the octopus on it." So, um, so it was fun for me to use that. And you can see there's a um, hopefully you can see that the blue on this um, paper is like a shiny foil blue, um, like a royal blue. So anyway, um, let me pull it down and start at the top. So I used a, um, this is one of the papers from the kit and I actually gutted, gutted that paper, um, for the, the black and gray that you see there. And then, um, I cut the edges off the, um, this paper. It had a, this, um, motif went past beyond this um, shiny blue border but I went ahead and cut that off so I could mat it. This paper is not very um, it, it's not like copy paper weight but it's not real thick so um, anyway and then I used another paper um, to mat the my, kind of my grid layout here so um so you can see my picture that's my brother and my daughter and we had stopped um these both of these they have two um of these kraken coffees um here in central on the central coast of california we were actually um at uh, avila beach getting a coffee and um so we got a picture there and um so um so that is the picture one that was this was um just around christmas time and then this um was one of those uh paper house uh four by four cards in there and then i used those um those tim holtz um little label stickers to put these two and um so that and that's that heidi swap that's the only little letter i used there um you can see also i have i cut some stars out of the pattern paper and I also used with a punch and I did some fussy cutting and then I also used some of this um, royal blue kind of sparkly sequins as well. Then as we move down the layout um, I have um, this is a cut apart from the paper and I just loved what it said. Um, 
in high tide or low tide, I'll be by your side. And then here is where I use the little coffee sleeve. And I actually just cut out the front part of it. And I did make it a pocket. And so inside the pocket, this is where I made um, these little coffee cups um, as little tags that are in there. And then my daughter's name is Amy. And then um, that's her Uncle Davey, of course, my brother. And then on the back is where I did my journaling. And I also did, I needed more room for journaling. So I went ahead and just uh, made a tag out of the paper. And this one I did, um, I did back it on some 110 pound cardstock. I put the date on it, um, continued the story on here, and just to make it, and this is where I use the twine too. So, but I thought those little coffee cups came out really, really cute. and was kind of a fun way to do the journaling. And I just cut them out of um, papers from the, the, um, the paper pad and then white cardstock. And then again, use those label stickers by Tim Holtz. And the, the fun part, you guys, about this layout is that um, we were getting lots of comments. Both um, Davey and Amy spent a lot of time together. Um, they hiked together. They did, um, we did the Cambria Christmas Market, which is a really pretty um, festival, kind of light festival around Christmas. And they were taking selfies and Amy was posting them to Instagram and or Snapchat. And so we were getting a ton of comments on these two and their shenanigans over the course of the uh, course of the trip and so that's what my journaling is about but anyway so I'm really really pleased at how this layout came out I thought it turned out really cute um, really enjoyed doing it and I'm really hoping to keep my momentum going and um, get some more uh, some more uh, 12 by 12 layouts done I really um, I'm thinking about doing some page kits um, because I just I have so much stuff that I'm overwhelmed that it's sometimes it's hard for me to even start so I was thinking about maybe doing I've been watching some videos on that there's lots of gals out there that do page kits um, on the top the top of my head I can think of Nicole Jones and um, Redefine Creative that they do these page kits that they scrap from throughout a month or you know a number of time period so I'm thinking about doing that to kind of narrow my choices down um, so that's kind of my, uh, my I'm thinking about doing that we'll see I'm doing some organizing in my craft room which is way overdue so anyway so that's it for me today I hope you guys are having a, a good scrappy slash crafty week and I will talk to you soon bye